Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to speed up your Mac. To quickly explain why our beautiful MacBooks and iMacs get slow over time, I'm going to give you the analogy of a house. We move into a new house and it's all empty. We're excited to furnish it with the new beds, the new living rooms, the TVs and everything. That's kind of like how we download Google Chrome, Safari, Spotify, Adobe, Photoshop and all that other stuff. It's all great to get those apps started and downloaded so you can have your own workflow. But when you have too many things running, especially Google Chrome, your memory, your CPU, all these components in your computer are going to start losing space like when you put too many things in your house. Don't you worry because in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to speed up your Mac so that it can go back to that day one feeling. The first tip that I'm going to share with you guys is to go to your activity monitor and find those power hungry processes that are taking up too much CPU or memory usage. And the tool we're going to use is called activity monitor. So click command space type in activity monitor and then you could scroll between your CPU and your memory and your energy and your disk. So in each of these categories, you want to see what's taking up the biggest slice of the pie, the biggest percentage. In CPU, go to the top middle section, click stop to cut that application. The next tip that I have for you is to reduce the clutter on your desktop. If you see my screen right now, it is full of screenshots, videos, and a variety of other junk. Having a very messy desktop like this is actually going to take up a lot of space in your processes. So one simple thing to clean this up with is to right click on your homepage and click use stacks and then it's all cleaned up. If you click on your finder and go to the desktop folder right here, you can even see what's on your desktop that you might be able to delete. But this is one surefire way to clean up a lot of the memory that's being used by a really cluttered desktop. The third tip of today is to use Clean My Mac X. This program makes everything so much easier, not only for speeding up our Mac, but for cleaning out possible malware or clearing up storage. It makes everything so simple. It's a one-stop shop. If you want to use Clean My Mac X, there's a download link in the description. Highly recommend it. It is awesome. It's notarized by Apple, so don't worry, it's mega legit. So I'm going to open up Clean My Mac X right now. Look at that beautiful UI. And I'm going to go to maintenance in the speed category. I'm going to click view all eight tasks. And now I can either free up RAM, free up virtual space, run maintenance scripts. Look at all these things that I could do that it could do for me. So I'm just going to do run maintenance scripts and free up RAM. So I'm going to do that right now. So these processes are awesome because I can manually go into my computer and eliminate my processes, delete things that aren't needed. But Clean My Mac X is going to do that all for me by just a click of the button. And look at that. It's time to do some clean scans. It's time to delete some apps and some apps that need updating. That is going to be super easy. And this program makes it really simple to speed up your Mac in different categories that it can tell you to pay attention to. It's even nice enough to remind you that it might be time to run another scan if you've already run one maybe 30 days ago and you've done a lot of downloading, you've done a lot of processes. It just reminds you, run those processes again, check whatever you want, check whatever you don't want, and then it's good to go. So if you want to use Clean My Mac X, highly recommend it. Download it through the link in the description box below. The fourth tip of today is to update your Mac OS and your hardware. So to quickly check if your MacBook or your iMac is up to date, go ahead and click the top left Apple icon on your screen. Go to about this Mac and then on the home page, click software update. If there is an update readily available, it'll tell you. And for me, I have an update that's available for me. These things are super important to optimize every program in your Mac so that things run up to date. Because if you run very out of date software, things are going to be a lot slower very quickly. So make sure that your OS is always up to date. It's also very important to keep your computer secure with these latest software updates. So make sure you're on top of that. For the hardware, that's tough because MacBooks, you can't upgrade your hardware, but for your iMac, you actually can. There's one component that you can custom over and over and over again and that is the RAM. You could look up another YouTube tutorial for upgrading the RAM. I'm not going to tell you how to do it but you can upgrade the RAM sticks on the back of your computer and you could buy those online, replace them and make your computer a lot faster than when you first bought it. The next one that I have for you is to remove browser extensions that are very unnecessary. So whether you're using Safari, Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome or whatever browser you choose to use, sometimes we download extensions to make certain things faster. 
or ad block. So if you don't want to use any of those things anymore because it's taking up too much space, here's a quick way to do it. I personally use Google Chrome, so I'm going to show you with that browser. So I'm going to open up a new window right here. I'm going to go to the Windows tab on the top taskbar over here and then go to extensions. And I'm going to see what I don't need anymore and color pick eyedropper I don't need. So I'm going to do remove, remove right here. And then you could do this whole survey that they might tell you to do. Just make sure you do it quick. And then after that, you have a clearer taskbar. Things that are going to be taking up that RAM is now gone. And now your browsing can be a lot cleaner and a lot faster. This next step is super useful, and that is to clear out your startup items. A lot of people are guilty of having programs just start up and boot up right when they turn on their computer, like Spotify or Google Chrome. But the problem with this is that this takes up a lot of processor power and it's not good in the long run. So the way to solve this is super simple. Go to your system preferences, click on users and groups right here, the middle icon, and then highlight your username over here. Go to login items. And right now I don't have any program that starts up, but you might have a lot of these items over here. Just click on any one of them and click the minus button down here below and you can save up a lot of space that could be used for other things when you boot up your computer. This next tip is super simple and that is to delete apps that you don't even use anymore. Macs come with a lot of stock applications like GarageBand, Pages, whatever it may be. I have personally not used 70% of the programs that come stock with MacBooks. They take up space, and since I'm not going to use it, I might as well delete it. So I'm going to go to Finder, go to the Applications folder. I'm going to expand it right here. Now I'm going to quickly go through my applications that I don't even use. I'm going to delete it right away. So let's see. Um, I have never used Photo Booth ever in my life. So I'm going to delete that. Oh, look at that. Uninstall with Clean My Mac X. And... Oh, wow. It lists out all the applications for me that I can delete. Just click. Uh, let's see. Let's do Fairlight Studio Utility. I don't even know what that is. Oh, wow. It even tells me how much space each app is taking up. And that is awesome. Wow. That's a lot of programs. Let's see. GarageBand. I don't need at all. iMovie. I don't use. I'm going to click uninstall right here. And then it's going to clean out my system. Look at this beautiful UI. Okay, three gigs just got freed up. Oh, wow. There we go. And that is all. To oh, five gigs got cleaned up. That's awesome. That's actually a lot of space that I just saved. All right, the last thing I'm going to share with you is to cut down the animations on your Mac. We love the beautiful animations of hovering over the dock, having all these things pop up. It's beautiful when it unfolds, but oh, does it take up a lot of processing space. So if you want to minimize on that to speed up your Mac, go to system preferences. We're going to go to dock which is right over here and then we're going to turn off magnification that is going to save on a lot of things we're going to turn off animate opening application and we're going to turn off automatically hide and show the dock but if we disable those features we save a lot of speed on our mac and that's the whole point of this video thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe like this video and comment down below and if you have any other things that you personally do to save on ram space cpu space or even to speed up a mac please comment Comment down below share it with us we would love to incorporate in another video and you could even help out someone who's just scrolling through the comment section so thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next one peace